towards the beginning of this week, I was still recuperating from my back issues and cold and everything else that was going on. So I definitely cheated a little bit more. I really needed to go grocery shopping probably the day my back went out. And so I ran out of groceries and I was also miserable and all I wanted to eat was junk food. I still had a tub of ice cream in the house and I still had microwave popcorn and I ate them and they have a little plastic around them so shame on me I'm not actually completing living 30 days without plastic but I'm doing my best I've definitely decided that convenience is absolutely everything I'm learning a lot in this challenge so far it's even though it's only been a couple of weeks on it it's just plastic is everywhere and it's so convenient it's so easy to just grab something and it's really I mean we all know this already it's really a higher problem than just simply deciding to stop using plastic like there's companies that need to be contacted in order to just stop the production of it honestly the only thing that keeps me buying it is the convenience of it and I think that if the other options were more accessible that we would be able to make smarter choices. However, at the same time, our consumer minds and our purchases drive demand for certain things that already come in plastic. So it's just really a circle that needs to be broken. But it's been super interesting so far. I don't remember if I mentioned in another video that I was just going to give up on packaging material because unfortunately, in order to buy plastic free products, I have to order them online for the most part and everything got shipped to me using plastic. I'm sure there's a way around that. I wish I had the budget to just keep buying from a bunch of different sources until I figured out one that would listen to me when I say please do not ship this with plastic, but I just don't have the budget or the time at the moment in my life and that right there is an example of how it's really difficult to budget is a, a thing like the salmon that I bought at the counter instead of the frozen section for the same amount of salmon that I usually buy was ten dollars more so this is one of the issues that I see with switching to plastic switching to plastic free is that a lot of people aren't able to even afford a lifestyle like that I'm fortunate enough to be able to handle it for a month but to be returning and shipping and all this stuff products to figure out which ones will ship to you without plastic I just don't have the time for it so we gave up on the packaging material if I need to order something and it comes if it came to me in plastic I just whatever it was packaging material the actual item that I'm using is not plastic so that's a good start and packaging material is at least recyclable like you can reuse it to send package to your cousin or whatever my razor finally came in the mail my deodorant came in the mail so a lot of happy Lizzie this week I finally have hygiene products that I can use I'm gonna be actually talking about this in the following videos I'm gonna do some reviews on the products that I bought that are plastic free and I'm really excited to share this stuff with you I think it's gonna be really interesting um, to see how these reviews go and maybe I can encourage some of you to switch over to plastic free razor and shampoo and conditioner you'll find out in the review videos I also ordered some period panties disclaimer sorry boys this is for the girls it's important too but tampons and pads and panty liners they all come wrapped in plastic and i had to do something obviously i'm a woman so those things happen i need something i finally bit the bullet and decided to invest in these period panties um i've been wanting to try them for a while and just never really wanted to spend the money but this plastic challenge kind of encouraged me to go for it so I have a review on those for you guys coming up I'm sure you all remember my random glass jar of compost that I showed you guys 
I ended up dropping it off at my mom's house because she has a compost pile in her backyard. But what should you do if you don't live close to your mother with a compost pile? I got online to do some searching and also posted to Next Door Neighbor where someone suggested to me this company. Their name is Compost Now and it's actually really cool. They work kind of like a garbage company and they come and pick up your compost each week. Then they actually bring you back dirt or you can have your dirt donated to a community garden or someone that can use it. The cost is not that much. It's only like $29 a month. So it's really like having another trash service. Another option that you can do is buy an urban composter. And these things are really cool because you keep all your compost in them and as it's starting to process it, it actually excretes a juice it's called compost tea and you empty this out every couple of days and you can use this tea on your plants to make them grow faster and then when the compost is done you can either dump it in your garden or find somewhere to donate dirt i have not yet been able to find spinach which is a huge thing for me because i put spinach in my smoothie every day so i've had to switch to lettuce which is kind of disgusting because it actually does leave a flavor in your smoothie versus spinach usually is covered up by my other flavors but everywhere I've gone for spinach has had something plastic on it either it came in a plastic box or a plastic bag and the fresh spinach comes with a little twist -em around it and the twist -em usually has a tag on it and it feels like plastic i'm not really sure if you guys can inform me i've just contacted one of the companies trying to find out what their tag is made of but twist -ems i know can be paper or plastic and i can't really tell just by looking at it because there's so much paper nowadays it's painted and has a weird coating on it and so it's really difficult to tell so i've just been avoiding it on purpose to make sure i'm not buying something with plastic. I'm actually extremely disappointed in Trader Joe's because before the plastic challenge, I was in love with Trader Joe's. Like, this is my favorite grocery store. I love their quirky little food items and I love the convenience of them and they have all this fun, different stuff that's hard to find in other stores. But upon starting this plastic challenge, I realized all of their produce not all of it, but most of their produce, especially all their green vegetables and green produce, comes in plastic. Like, you literally cannot go to Trader Joe's and get fresh spinach that wasn't in plastic or fresh lettuce that wasn't in plastic. Like, bad Trader Joe's. They need to do something about this. I'm actually really surprised since Trader Joe's is kind of an eco-conscious company as it is that they don't have other options there. And... Publix, to my surprise, also did not have spinach outside of plastic. They didn't even have the twisty tie ones that I've been saying that every grocery store has. Publix had kale like that, at least the Publix I went to. They had kale that was outside of a box or a bag or whatever, but I didn't see any fresh spinach with just a twist -em. It's all in a plastic container. That pretty much wraps up this week. I, now that I have my hygiene products, have getting a little bit more in the swing of things. I've been using my reusable grocery bags and my paper bags to get produce. So it's, that isn't too difficult of a switch. It's just remembering to take it with you to every grocery store you go to. And I already did that for places like Trader Joe's and Sprouts. So just, really was adding the habit to do that whenever I go to Kroger or Walmart as well to bring in the bag with me. The paper bags I don't think are the greatest idea over the long run because they tear easily so they can't hold a lot of weight like the plastic bags can. However, I looked online. You do have the option to buy these like kind of clear cotton produce bags online which are reusable. So I think that's a really great option that I look forward to using when I return from Italy but for now I'm just going to keep using the paper bags but again not a great option for the long run. Aside from the cheats that I've mentioned in every video where I have cheated I've been doing pretty good definitely living with other people who aren't doing the challenge is difficult because if it was just me, I could just put a composter in my house and a recycle bin and I wouldn't just naturally throw stuff in the trash. 
Also, if you guys have an idea for me, I would love to hear from you because I don't really know what to do with trash that can't be recycled or composted. I think that has to go in the trash, in which case, since I have Airbnb guests here, I've just been throwing that in the actual garbage, which is a plastic bag, unfortunately, because I don't feel that putting in a paper bag would prevent the odor from happening. So like if I have chicken bones or something left over that I didn't finish eating off of my plate, I throw that in the actual trash. Does anyone have any ideas on how you should dispose of that without using plastic? I would love to hear from you. I am really excited to review all these products for you guys in the upcoming videos, so make sure you stay tuned to see my shampoo and conditioner bar review, my razor review, and my review on period panties. I'm also going to be reviewing my bamboo toothbrush and my charcoal tooth powder. So make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss out on my review videos. It's going to be really interesting talking about all the pros and cons of all these plastic free products. I hope you've been enjoying these videos and you come back to see me again. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later. Get ready. Hope you are watching and enjoying and all that shit.